IT and uh, computer specialities are some of the most um, demanded specialities in the world right now, and it's really difficult to imagine an organization who now manages to operate uh, without a specialist in the field of IT. And without a doubt, interest in studying this subject is now at its uh, historical maximum, but a lot of people mix IT and computer science into one uh, single thing, which is wrong. We gotta understand that IT and computer science are um, different things uh, that um, include a list of, of various uh, directions. Also, these sciences are very young, just about 50 years ago I can say that such occupations as an IT specialist or a programmer didn't exist. In this video I'm not going to tell neither about salaries of IT specialists nor where to go to earn money as an IT specialist, since in this field it's possible to earn as much as you like and wherever you like. I think it's quite obvious. The purpose of today's video is to tell where to study in these areas to get uh, the maximum result. Top-notch universities in IT and computer science areas are located in English-speaking countries, yes, even in Australia. But why there? Well, because the biggest amount of money is invested there in education, um, infrastructure and uh, technical equipment for uh, studying these subjects. And it's a very important thing that infrastructure and equipment is developed not only at the university, um, level, but also at the level of schools, because only in this combination the maximum return from a uh, trained uh, specialist is possible. Let's look at some numbers. In US public schools, uh, the amount of money allocated per student is 20 times more than in uh, Russia. And yes, you heard it, even 21 times more. But today I won't talk about the USA, the episode is about the UK. While in the um, US, uh, the private sector of education is also very well developed, which draws um, additional investment, both uh, school and university level. Today we're talking about the United Kingdom, one of the most attractive countries for studying. If you're interested in the US, I'll tell you about it in the next video, and in these two videos, in general, I'll be talking about the differences between uh, studying in the UK and the US. What to begin with? Before applying to English universities for IT or uh, computer sciences, it's important to actually understand what these specialities are and uh, who you want to become in the future. Information technology is a work with information. Computer science is a work with computers, just in general. Speciality, information system and technologies includes um, internet technologies, data management, system analysis and design. A speciality in computer technologies includes machine learning, business computing, development of program software, development of computer games and many others. The most popular educational program at British universities is computer science. This is one of the most fundamental and general sciences. It includes plenty of subdivisions. You can surely take this as a major and later if you have the desire um, study for a master's program in this speciality but with a narrow specialization. Another uniqueness of studying in the UK is that there are programs here that officially combine work and study. One year of internship is added to the main three-year course of um, study. Students call it a sandwich course or a sandwich program. So students study, after that they work for a year and then they come back to studies for the last year not only with work and experience but also with understanding what they'd like to do in the future. Next I'll tell you about British universities and I hope to clarify some things. The tip of the iceberg. If you open the website Complete University Guide searching for the best UK universities in the field of computer science, you'll discover that Imperial College goes right after well-known Oxbridge. I've already did videos about Oxford and Cambridge, uh, so I won't cover them here since they're too hyped uh, even, even without me talking about them. Imperial is one of the most prestigious universities in the world and in the UK. It is regularly included in the top 5 best universities, and apart from 15 a Nobel Prize winners whose names are tied with Imperial College, the list of alumni of the university includes um, science fiction writer Herbert Wells, former Prime Minister of India Rajiv Gandhi, as well as guitarist of Queen Brian May. As for starting programs, uh, there are three-year courses on general computing, math and computer science, and a four-year courses on such programs as uh, machine learning, cybersecurity, robotics, and software development. 
all programs of the university have the same structure for the first several two years. Group training models, core intelligent behavior understanding, which uh, give students an idea of the main uh, concepts and principles of uh, computing. Also, extensive knowledge in the field of uh, discrete uh, mathematics is provided, which is the base of computing and classical mathematics and statistics related to app uh, development and um, management. Students attend not only lectures, but also laboratory classes. Also, they work on projects during the entire course. A lot of attention is paid to individual approach, uh, so the students students have their own mentor they can appeal to for advice during the entire period of study. Who will you become after graduating from the university? Graduates are demanded not less than ones from Cambridge or Oxford. Some of them join teams of big companies or start their own business. A range of students made a career in area of management, counseling, computer games or special effects. Others succeeded in banking and finance. Some of the recent graduates already work at Amazon, Facebook, Google, well, we should have said Meta, sorry, Microsoft, to work as app developers in Apple, cybersecurity specialist at British Petroleum, at uh, technology and analytics companies at Goldman Sachs. They're co-founders of various uh, startups and uh, video games developers. What do you need to enroll at this university? After a non-British school, you'll need to take a one-year course on the, the foundation program, which is a preparatory program. After that, you'll need to provide a high school certificate with above average grades, IELTS certificate 6.5 and higher or TOEFL 85 plus, your motivation letter, recommendations from your school teacher. And if you're planning to enroll at a master's program, then you'll need a higher education diploma with an average score of 4.5 and higher. Also, you'll need a motivation letter, resume, an essay on any given topic, recommendations from um, teachers, and a certificate confirming the level of English. It has to be not less than uh, 6.5 for IELTS and 100 for TOEFL. The website of the university, there are also requirements for those studying in the UK. You must have 3A, two of them A star. I won't say what this uh, stands for because uh, those who studied British universities uh, know it without explanation, whereas uh, those who aren't don't really need it. What percentage of applicants to Imperial succeed? It's really important. So out of 18 applicants, only one was accepted. It means one of 18. This is according to the last year's data. The cost of education. I guess the cost interests everyone. The tuition fee for locals and foreigners is not the same, so don't get confused. The cost for bachelors is about £38,000 per year. Different prices for different programs. Master's programs start from £17,000. I understand that life in London is the most expensive in the entire UK. That's why I feel obliged to tell you about other cities as well. Manchester, with all expenses taken into account, a year of living in Manchester will cost you 30 to 40 percent cheaper than London. But why Manchester? There is another top-notch UK university preparing IT computer science specialists at the University of Manchester. And this is a great opportunity for those who prefer to live not in London. Manchester is a student city and there is everything and even more for comfortable living here. On average, Manchester students spend on uh, accommodation £75 per week and higher. For comparison, in London you'll have to pay from £185 per week. The cost of a taxi in Manchester is one of the lowest in the entire England, about £5 per ride. That said, you can uh, easily live uh, without a taxi. Buses arrive at bus stops every minute, uh, and the city breaks record in terms of the quantity of buses in Europe. And uh, Manchester is a large city, ninth the largest in uh, the country. It's an industrial, financial and cultural centre of England. About 40,000 students study at the University of uh, Manchester. I'm not going to tell you about the requirements of applying to each university, that's not interesting. Our specialists can tell you about it if you're intended to apply. Let's focus on university programs and universities. At the University of Manchester, there is a three-year computer science course as well. There are also programs called Computer Science Plus. 
computer science plus mathematics, computer science plus human-computer interaction. There are four-year programs as well. During studies, the focus is made on regular classes in small groups with a personal teacher. Also, students constantly get help and uh, support from experienced workers and postgraduate students. Experienced workers are those having an experience in working at organizations. Leading experts form educational programs and encourage the interest of students. This main process is supported by traditional lectures on par with uh, comprehensive online learning resources. The university also provides uh, specialized laboratories to support the, the learning process. How's the assessment of students carried out? Generally with the help of lab or computer tasks, they can demonstrate their um, computer skills skills and knowledge of electronic principles solving particular problems on a bigger scale. They work both individually and in groups. Um, despite the program being called computer technology, you'll also make presentations and write essays where, in particular, students demonstrate acquired uh, skills. In the third year, uh, there are no exams and the assessment is mainly composed of a practice-oriented project. According to a survey among graduates, 90% of computer science bachelors are employed or um, continue their education within 15 months after graduation and usually get their first salary in the amount of uh, 36,000 pounds per year and higher. Opportunities for students. You can work anywhere. Finance, cinematography, gaming industry, pharmaceutics, healthcare, consuming goods, uh, public services, covering virtually all areas of business and society. A special interest to Manchester graduates comes from the following companies. CERN, EA Games, IBM, Microsoft. But if you still uh, prefer London and prices don't bother you, then I suggest another amazing university, King's College London. This is the alma mater of physicist and Nobel Prize winner Peter Higgs. Who's Peter Higgs? Uh, the man who proved the existence of the Higgs boson. Writer of the Genie Wolf, uh, writer Somerset Moen, as well as boss guitarist of Queen, John Deacon. The University, together with the University College London and the London School of Economics and Political Science, constitute one of the corners of the so-called the Golden Triangle, the Golden Triangle of the UK Universities. The University is the sixth British university in the world Key West ranking on IT programs. The first two years of bachelor's computer science program are focused on the basics on informatics, which enables them to develop a software system while working as a part of a team. The third year allows students to specialize uh, their knowledge and demonstrate their talents by carrying out an individual project. Also, bachelor students uh, learn uh, software development, algorithms and optimization, cybersecurity, systems engineering, basics of computing, and basics of artificial intelligence. Students of the course have the opportunity to taste um, sandwich year, coming to study abroad for uh, two years and spending the third year in a partner educational institution outside of England before coming back to King's for the last year. The university has the best possible location in the center of uh, London, next to global uh, leading companies. Next to it, there are um, offices of Google and Amazon. The feature of the university is that it provides unparalleled access to leading science uh, communities, including the Chartered Institute for IT, BCS, and the Institute of Engineering and Technology, IET. I won't be surprised um, if you tell me that you don't understand anything. In short, these are leading British computer communities for people working in the field of information technology and informatics in the United Kingdom and globally. King's College prepares engineering programmers, software engineers and architects, developers specializing in particular languages of coding security engineers and database engineers. Graduates of this university are hired to such companies as Airbus, Strauss or Friedberg, Merrill Lynch and Goldman Sachs. What do you need to enter such prestigious universities? Well, the desire alone is not enough. Um, you have to work hard from the beginning to convince the admission committee that you're always sought knowledge. 20 to 30 people are competing for one place. Enrolling here is difficult. What to do if I fail? To begin with, you're entitled to submit documents to five universities at the same time you have just mentioned three, and the United Kingdom uses the UCAS system for this. I won't tell about it now, but we can make a special video about admission. But here we talk about universities. If you're interested in the stages of admission, our consultants are ready to help you. Just go to smaps.com and ask any questions. 
or you can write it in the comments and we'll check it and answer. Choosing universities based on uh, rankings exclusively is not quite correct. You can do what your heart tells you to do. And the UK has universities with less demanding conditions for admission, but the teaching is still at the highest possible level. I finished a British university, which was in 2010. After that, I worked in England and the Arab Emirates uh, until I eventually founded uh, Smaths uh, together with my business partner. I lived in London for six years, and since then I have been going to England for several times a year. Constantly participate in education fairs and keep an eye on how the sphere is evolving. Those of you who've seen my channel know that I make videos about international educational institutions and we also implement joint projects with them all over the world. For example, this year we did education fairs in Istanbul, Baku, Dubai and Tel Aviv. Coming back to the universities, watch my video about Queen's University, where an ultra-modern computer science faculty was opened. Check the special episode about Newcastle University, where I lived in their student residence for two weeks and shooted the whole campus. Watch the episode about East Anglia University, where the Avengers movie was filmed and where multi-million labs for engineering were built just out of this world, where the most eco-friendly building among all UK universities is located. The computer science building uh, there also costs dozens of millions of pounds. Watch my videos about the University of Edinburgh, which is currently ranked 30th in the world in computer science. 17th in the world in general and 7th uh, in... Europe. There is a special video called Oxford vs Cambridge. If you are still planning to study at these universities, I have an old episode about Oxford where I lived in the student residence of Oxford University. Yeah, it happened to me. And I want to remake it uh, at some detail to, uh, to accomplish this. I need to go to England, but I need to get a visa because mine has expired. If you like cinematography and sports, uh, then you can watch the video about the University of Stirling, where Mel Gibson made his Braveheart movie in where one of the best sports infrastructure in the UK is. If you're obsessed with um, arts, cinematography, drama, fashion, design and architecture, then watch the video about Arts University Bournemouth, where one of the buildings was designed by Zaha Hadid and where the director of Baby Driver movie studied. Okay, that's about it. But where to find it? You'll probably say to me, my team has already found everything in advance and attached the link in the description to this video. Everything is collected under this video, so open the links, watch videos, so get to know universities and explore student life in the UK. I'm not saying goodbye, but already preparing another video with one single difference, it will be about the US. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. If the video was interesting, then I'm waiting for a well-deserved like to this video, and if you have some questions, write in the comment section or go straight to the online chat at SMAP's website, where our specialists are always in touch. But why it's so important to watch the videos about um, educational institutions in the UK? All these episodes are directly from the scene, meaning that I went there, filmed these educational institutions, so that you can really feel the atmosphere. There is a huge amount of information about specific educational institutions. Not just um, some general information, this specific place. A lot of numbers, architecture, buildings, where students live, what they eat, who their teachers are, and much other information of this kind. See you in the next video about the US. Yes.